Housing costs across the state are skyrocketing, and our 22 News State House reporter Ellen Fleming explains the initiatives at a city and statewide level aimed at making housing more affordable. Almost 30 years ago, voters approved a ballot question banning rent control. But now efforts in Boston and on Beacon Hill are looking to bring that measure back. Nearly four months ago, the Boston City Council approved Boston Mayor Michelle Wu's plan to bring rent control back to the city. However, it needs to go through the legislature, which seems to be in no rush to hear the measure. At the end of June, several home rule petitions were heard, but the Joint Committee on Housing did not include the Boston proposal. They also left it off the docket for a hearing occurring next week. Now, the Boston petition would limit how much Boston landlords could raise rent to 6% plus a change in the consumer price index with a maximum of 10 percent. Paul Craney of the Massachusetts Fiscal Alliance does not believe rent control is the way forward. Individuals should be able to save their money, buy property, and if they want to rent it out, dictate those own terms for their nest egg investment. Government shouldn't come in and control those terms of how they could rent out their own property. There is also a statewide measure to bring rent control back. That bill would allow individual municipalities to enact rent control. Senator Pat Jalen is a sponsor of the bill, and she said in a statement on rent control that reads, in part, it can help potential homeowners compete with investors for housing and does nothing to slow new housing production. It is important now more than ever to allow communities the choice on how to address displacement with a tool like rent stabilization. That bill has also not been scheduled for a hearing. WWLP reached out to Boston Mayor Michelle Wu's office for comment, but we have not heard back by news time. Working for you at the State House in Boston, Ellen Fleming, 22 News.